Hello, I'm Chris. This is Dustin with Republic Manufacturing, and we're here to talk to you about this big Mazak machine that's behind me. Um, this is a horizontal machining center. Yes. And we just made an uh, expansion on this system. So what did we do to it? We just added 12 more pallets. We had originally just six with one machine. Now we have 12 more, which gives us a total of 18. Uh, we have another machine coming in the future, which will give us an additional two. We're, we're looking at 20 total pallets where we can load multiple parts, multiple fixturing for, for multiple parts, and really just mass producing, mass okay. production. So if I only got a couple fixtures versus having all these fixtures that I have, what, is, what does that gain me? Spindle up time, you're constantly running. It okay. doesn't matter. That gives me lights out operation? Yes, lights out operation. So if I'm running lights out operation and something goes wrong, how do I know? Well, we have tool check features on the machine uh, using our probing capabilities tool breaks, it checks it, if it's broken, it stops, it doesn't go any further than that. Okay, we've got these stands behind us here, what, what do we do with these? Well, these are our fixtures for our, our uh, claw pumps that we make, we use our castings here, um, this is one of the particular fixtures we use to run our castings. Over here is we have our fixturing for our impellers, which is a huge deal that we have here for our claw pumps. Okay, so it's my understanding by having all these fixtures ready to go, you don't have to use the crane and you, you reduce setup time. Right. And then these have to be pretty accurate, right? Yes. Okay. So we machine them, we hone them, and then we pin them. Right. Okay. And why do we do that? For accuracy. For accuracy. Okay. Yes. Obviously. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So now you said we can expand. So when we add another machine, it'll be able to feed off the same pallets? Absolutely. This whole thing will feed into, and it's actually quite neat. Not even just this machine, we can actually add on a completely different machine that will still work with our pallet system. Okay, so how do we program this? What happens? We use um, a CNC software called Esprit for, for this particular machine, or even that, you can, you can simply write G-code at the machine if you need to. Excellent. Yeah. Well, great. So if you see, Republic continues to invest in our uh, automation, our machinery, lean manufacturing, and this is just one example of the many investments we're making. Thank you.